Right, I guess I'm in focus. It's Vern's allotment. Um, we're going to do a tour of the plot again. But we'll start off with the compost. The compost is now full of beans, tomatoes, and peas. Lots of flies. Second stage of the compost. That's doing quite alright, I think. He's turning. Finished compost, what I used the other day. Black currants are all picked. They're all in the freezer, apart from the other two. The Osterberry's yet to pick, might pick that tonight. Um, not these. I think these called these flowers. They're called pokers or something. Hot pokers. But I don't grow many flowers. But they're bulbs. Summer bulbs, which I didn't know about. And you just put them in, and they come up every year. You ain't got to worry about it. Quite pretty, really. Bees like them. Raspberries are coming tall as that fence and the yellow raspberries that come and might get food with raspberries off that rhubarb <sighs> eat a lot of rhubarb you water you water I've just got them barrels left even after all the rain we've had they can get a lot of rain Grass needs cutting. Into the greenhouse. Cucumbers. Cucumbers are coming. Um, a bit slow, but they're coming. I guess it just needs to keep watering. Peppers. Lots of flowers in the peppers. And. Peppers are coming. Got this big cucumber here. Bit dodgy weather to pick it though. Um, lettuce ready to go in. And my tomatoes. These are a bit spindly. They all went a bit wrong. They've got plenty of tomatoes on. But um, they're looking a bit spindly. You sometimes get tomato plants that don't go quite right, but then all these are grown to the top. And they're filled with tomatoes. I cut some leaves off today so we get air circulation around. Got any rot. Windows are all open. Grapevine. Um I think we could do a bit more heat. But, but there's a great day turning. I don't know if you've got it on focus. But I must give it some water, ain't I? That'll shield some of the heat, direct heat out of the greenhouse. So that's my greenhouse. Grapes. Oh, my smartest. Got guns. Go. Ooh, bugger. Gardener's Delight, I think these are black cherry and these are Jen's tangerine tomatoes. Got these from again the Rail Seed Company. But they're so sweet and lovely once they turn yellow. Great tomatoes. These are the onions that I found in my greenhouse. Potted them on to get them in a bit of a head start and planted them in about a week ago, I think. I'm not sure. Leeks. And we're all coming. Three and a half rows of leeks. It's more than enough for us. We wouldn't eat all them. Onions. 
And these onions have enjoyed the weather. And they turn and they're nice and they're nice and rigid in the ground. The best onions I've ever grown this year. Best shallots for pickling. Best onions. These onions here, these two rows, are from onion seed. First time I've planted onions from seed. Well, second time. I did it once in my back garden. But they're doing alright, they're filling up. Apparently if you plant them in autumn, they'll overwinter. And then next year you have even bigger onions. This is me, there's five butternut squash plants here. It's a bit difficult to walk through. I think, well when you look you don't see them do you, but there's quite a lot in there. There's a lot of little ones coming. Some potatoes. The skins are setting on these potatoes now. Be digging some of them today. Parsnips are coming on. Parsnips, seedlings are coming on. What are you doing? Pack it in, I'm covered in paint. Go away! Away! That's my daughter painting the fence. Go away! French beans are in. And what dug the other day? Run of beans. I had a picking of these the other day. Very good. Picked some of the Tabrys today as well. So, those to do. No time to do it in. Been pickling onions today and making rhubarb wine. Two gallon of it. Sprouts. They're about what, two foot tall, two and a half foot tall, and broccoli. These are white cabbages. Calabrese is doing well. These are drumhead cabbages. They're certainly growing different to normal cabbages. Taking a while to heart up. Hot peppers. They've got quite a few on there, but the plants are a bit spindly. But it's got the fruit on, so I suppose that's all that matters. Don't want a lot really to be honest. Still got pet hot peppers from last year. Gooseberries are picked there. That's all the onions I've got left. What's that? Three, six, seven, ten bunches. So, more rhubarb. First thing you do when you get an allotment, I need some rhubarb. And you OD on the bloody stuff. What have we got in there? I've got one, two, three squashes that come in there. Probably got the same over there. These bent crook squashes, quite pretty really, and they do grow well. And I'm impressed with them. I don't think they'll get much bigger. They're like apple size. They say tennis ball size, but I've got quite a few. I've got one there, one there. 
three, four, five. That's just a one, one bit. Got another one there, six. Quite a few coming. Seven. A little more of a row. Um, Then we got some on here. And mini suit, mini suit, uh, midget melons. So, I've just grown it over these bags I've got. Mr. Ladybird, well, I think that's a harlequin, isn't it? Yeah, going up with these black bags for the heat seems to be working. Got more water here, I connect this this water here, this connect it into this gutter. I've got both of these gutters on this shed. This one here and the one around there, they're both connected. Going into this barrel. Got it going around the shed. So it yeah, it goes across there. Round the shed and into here. And I figured if I've got two roofs, I'll get more water into one barrel. And then I can connect that one up and just top that one up. I've got on here, what, 750 litres. Plus these two barrels. In this, in this here. And this, I've got vermiculite in there. This is vermiculite. I've got a few bags of vermiculite. Um, and the reason I've got that is because I used to work at perlite, at mineral works. I used to produce perlite and vermiculite. So all the old stock which was knackered and was going to get tipped down at the farm. All came down my allotment. Hence, the Mickey Burlite. But, I'm afraid to say, that's no more. Sweet corn. I didn't think it was grown, but it is. Because I've looked back at some videos that I've done. And in a month, well, just over a month, they were about 12 inches tall. And nearly over five foot, some of them now. Just dying for them to thicken up and get bigger and stronger, and the cobs to get a bit more substantial so I can let the chickens in. Because we've chucked in mustard seed, there's docks in there, there's fat in in there, thistles, everything that chickens love. Shard grown around here. So come winter time, they got some greens. And I've got a friend on the allotment, Mick, who um, has also planted bucket loads of shard on his allotment to help me out. And he's going to do the same next year, which I feed fresh greens to chickens all the time. Ah, lettuce. We don't need many. I've got some more growing. In the end. That's the plot. Both plots. Both plots toured. Done. I'm going to dig some potatoes now. Once we've dug the potatoes. 
Um, what is part tomatoes? I'm going them. So I'm signing off. See you later. Bye.